July. A five-year-old boy from Princess Lakes in Johnson County is now recovering after radical life-saving surgery. A rare disease required doctors to remove half of his brain. Our South Bureau reporter Jenny Runovich tonight on that surgery and the young boy's road to recovery. You take care of me. With his nonstop energy and enthusiasm, you'd never know it took Jeremiah Payton two years to learn to talk. That under that scarf, he has nearly a thousand stitches. That just two weeks ago, he underwent surgery to remove half his brain. To see him act like this is is really, really helpful. Five-year-old Jeremiah was born with Sturge Weber syndrome, a rare brain disorder that causes seizures, developmental problems, and a telltale facial birthmark. It took doctors a long time to diagnose the disease while Jeremiah's parents felt helpless. I'm going to sit by a lot of times and watch your child deal with these seizures and not being able to do anything to help has been very difficult. Basically, they told us that medicines is, you know, he's not controlled at all with medicines. He's on every one. He's on five different ones. So. Um, either he has a surgery or he dies. So at 18 months, doctors disconnected the hemispheres of his brain. The seizures stopped, but eventually returned. Doctors had to operate again to remove the entire left side of Jeremiah's brain, a risky and radical procedure. It was, it was he either, that was the only way he had a chance at a living period. Specialists at the Cleveland Clinic spent six hours operating on Jeremiah while Jim and Anita hoped for the best. The worst case scenario was is that we lost him, basically. I mean, dude, dude, he could die on the table. I gave him a kiss, and I, I knew he would be okay. I knew in my heart everything would be fine. The surgery was a success. Jeremiah is still on seizure medication, but no longer seems sluggish. Yeah, he's, he's acting like him. Now each moment is a miracle for the Paytons. Each step forward, a victory over a deadly disease. I just hope that he can catch up and live as normal life as possible. Jeremiah has had a couple of seizures since that surgery, but doctors say that's to be expected. He will go through physical therapy soon and is expected to start kindergarten in the fall. Live at the Star 13 South Bureau, Jenny Runovich, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.